good morning folks this is paul with 828 catfishing we're down here on lake wiley today i'm anchored up right here on a very very shallow point that comes out from the bank right here i mean it ain't but a foot right over here to my right i mean very shallow i took all week off from work so hopefully we can get some fishing done but as always every single time i try to fish the wind is howling the wind is howling and it was cold last night i mean it was 34 degrees this morning and had frost but it's springtime water temp was 62.8 right at 63 so these fish should be biting the water is a little muddy i mean it ain't brown brown but it's it's stained i mean it's got some color to it so hopefully that'll help us I've always done good in muddy stained water so we've got that going for us today so we've got assortment of bait I've got shad I've got brim I've got creek chubs you name it I've got it so I'm gonna get all these rods baited up I'm running a little bit late I had to get bait this morning so I'm gonna get all these rods baited up cast out see if we can't get on something so stick around let's see what we can get into today oh yeah and I brought my planer board, so if anchoring don't work, we're going to start dragging and we'll get on something somehow. We'll conjure us up a fish somehow today. So stick around. Let me get these rods baited up. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. All this pollen. But I'm going to get these rods baited up, cast out, and let's see if we can't get on something. All right, guys, we got the first hook up right here. We're doubled. Yep. We're doubled. Well, that may have just got off. is not a bad blue. Guys, that's still on, so yeah, we're doubled. Look at that rod go. That might be a good fish. Well, these fish are wound up this morning. Stop, stop. Sit there a minute. That gum fish got my anchor rope.
How's this that gum fish? Has caused one more mess. All right, guys, right there is fish number one. That ain't a bad blue right there. He's bleeding, but that's just where I hooked him in the mouth there. He'll be all right. Man, them fish caused one heck of a mess in that anchor rope. Let's do like we always do. All right, guys, that one's gone. Let me get this other one back here. guys that is a daggum pop belly right there look at that belly on that there's fish number two of the double so we're off to a good start minus the anchor rope situation so i'm gonna do like we always do he's gone that's my blood though he got he bit the crap out of me Maybe this pattern is working on Wally also like it is Norman. I didn't know if this pattern would work. I've been hitting extremely shallow points next to deep water, the main channel. And I mean, I've just been killing them. So let's see what else we can get into. Stick around. All right, guys, we're hooked up again. I couldn't even get that taken care of. I've still got all three of those rods out. Oh, this is a big. This don't feel like a bad fish, guys. Oh, 
old man. This one's got some backbone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a nice one right there. Yeah, guys, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, that is a nice one right there, guys. Nice like Wiley Blue Cat. That fish come out of two foot of water. I mean, two foot of water. I can't express how shallow they are right now. And they are fired up because of this warmer water. Let's do like we always do. He gone. Now let's see if we can get some daggum rods back out. We ain't got but two rods out and I'm not sure one of them didn't get hit. Whew. It's an act active morning so far. Let's see if we can continue this. All right guys, we're hooked up again, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we got another. Very big, and I know that. Matter of fact, he's a little, one, but he's a flathead, so. And I get my bait, my bait back, so that's a bonus as I put the hook into my finger there. Yeah, guys, that's a tiny, teeny little flathead, I mean, but hey, it's a flathead. Let's do like we always do. Let's let him go and let him grow. He gone. All right, guys, we're hooked up again. I had camera problems. I couldn't get the daggum camera to cut on. I've already about got it to the boat. I just cast this rod out, cut the camera off, and it started ripping. I think it's another good blue. Yes. Yes, 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 indeed it is.
Well, fish, if you would open your mouth. He's gonna break my rod's what he's gonna do. I don't know what number that is. I, I've done lost count. I ain't even keeping count. I think that's like number six or seven, maybe. But you talk about an active morning. This is turning out to be one active morning. <laughs> this shallow water point close to the main channel has just been on fire. Look right here, guys. Guys, that thing was peeling. I don't, I don't know if that thing's still hooked up. I think that thing got off. That gummit. That thing didn't hook up. But we got that one anyway, so we're on them right here. Maybe we'll get us a big one here in a minute. Stick around. Let's see if we can't. All right, guys, we're hooked up again. This ain't a very big fish, I don't think. And I apologize if there's wind noise on the camera. Cause like I said, if I'm fishing, the wind's blowing. Uh, he ain't a bad one. He ain't no giant, but he ain't a bad blue. Go, guys a little pot belly right there that fish has some mud on it most of them we've caught today ain't had mud on them that fish does have a little mud on it but hey that's eight now I think seven or eight anyways so it's been a really good morning of fishing I mean I ain't been fishing but a little over an hour now about an hour and five minutes what you've seen is all come within just a bit over an hour about an hour and ten minutes worth of fishing so it's been an extremely good morning of fishing so far but let's do like we always do let's let him go all right guys he's gone I think what I'm going to do now, I brought this slip float rig with me. And since it's so shallow over there, I got that thing set for like four foot. I'm going to throw that slip float and see if I can't get one on that float. I want to see that float go down. So I'm going to bait it up and throw it over here in this real shallow water and see if we can't get one on it. Stick around. Let's see what else we can get into. All right, guys, we're hooked up again on this pink rod, I think. Yeah, there he is. That daggum fish went for my anchor rope, too.
Well, if that fish had let go, I'd have it unhooked. There we go, guys. There's another one. I'm telling you, I mean, they're just on fire this morning. Let's do like we always do. Let's let them go and let them grow. Or let them go and let them grow. He gone. I may have to cull some fish out of this video if it keeps up the way it is. Cause I mean, it is, it is literally 9.38. We started fishing at 8.32 this morning. So, just a little bit over an hour. Let's see what else we can get in the boat. Guys, I did it. That float rig is out there moving. I've got one on the float. Yeah! He don't feel very big, but And he's not very big, but it is on my homemade slip float rig. I make these myself. That's pretty cool. That's the first one I've ever caught on that. Yeah, I mean, that's a perfect eater right there. If I was wanting to eat one, that'd be it. But hey. I caught one on my slip float rig. That's all I wanted to do, and I done it. And I apologize, I forgot to turn that aerator off, so I'm sure you're hearing that noise from that aerator. But I've got some live bait, and I'm wanting to keep them alive, so I gotta run it. Let's do like we always do. Let's let him go and let him grow. One day he might be a 80, 100 pounder, who knows? He gone. This has been just an incredible day of fishing, guys. I may call it here in a little bit. I mean, I've got I've got a video and then some. I got to get up early in the morning, so I may call it here in a little bit. I think I'll cast this back out. See if I can't get another. No, that's pretty fun. Stick around.